Hey, so have you ever had a disagreement with a close friend or a family member and gotten a little like, eh, uh, well, you know, a little, I ought to, right? We get angry sometimes when we have these discussions about things that, well, we don't agree on. And of course, there's always politics because that's so fun to talk about, right? <laughs> Never said anybody. And, and sometimes religion, right? Religion can... Uh, make us start to question each other and, you know, like, what, well, why do you believe what you believe? And we're in the middle of Lent right now, right? It's It started a couple days ago and, and we're moving our way towards Easter. And what does that mean? And Lent is the time for us to take a look at what we believe and why we believe. Now, we all don't think alike. We don't see things the same, right? So there's a different point of view. And I was looking at the Gospels the other day, and Matthew, Mark, and John are written by three of the disciples, right? Mark, well, Mark wrote it, but he wrote it from Peter's point of view. Matthew was a disciple. Peter was a disciple. John, son of Zebedee, was a disciple. Luke was not. Luke was a doctor. Luke was a Greek doctor who... Uh, became a Christian after he uh, started to talk to some people about who Jesus was. And he converted after talking to many people about who Jesus said he was, right? And he I don't think he ever really met Jesus. Luke was a good friend of Paul's and traveled with him certain places. And he wrote the book of Luke, one of the Gospels, but he also wrote the book of Acts, right? And he collected all of his information from interviewing people who knew the disciples, who knew Jesus, who were there during miracles and storms and all kinds of events, healings, uh, demon possessions, all that stuff. He interviewed all these people and he wrote down these two sister books, Luke and the, and the uh, book of Acts. But his point of view is way different than Matthew, Peter, and John. And John's point of view is different than Luke and Peter and Matthew. Does that make these guys wrong because their point of view is different? No, it just means they see things from a different perspective, right? And I think we need to realize that in the church today, right? Uh, I am a United Methodist. My point of view is a little different from what Presbyterians see or from what Baptists see, or Lutherans, or Catholics, all right? And we all have a different point of view because we have a different background. We have a different way of seeing things and things that have been taught to us over the years. Does it make me any more right than the other faiths? I don't think so. Christianity is a diverse, uh, awesome religion, right? But here's the thing about Christianity. It's not just something that we read about and go, oh yeah, that was pretty cool. And then we memorize it. And then, um, you know, if we throw enough money in the plate and if we're good enough, then we get to go to heaven. It's not like that, right? Our faith is all about having a relationship with a loving God and the son that he sent to die for each and every one of us. May we remember that as we go through this Lenten season. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.